help at last for a nation cut off for five days after a tsunami wreaked havoc in seconds. Finally, a ground level view of the damage. Cars folded like cardboard, people doing their best to clean up. With every surface covered in ash from the volcano that caused the tsunami. Planes only getting in now after Herculean work locally. Airfield has been open today. Uh, there was a mammoth effort by His Majesty's Armed Forces to clear that runway by hand. A ship from neighbouring New Zealand due today, bringing food and water to replace supplies contaminated by ash. But the damage has spread far beyond the volcanic eruption that sent huge waves right across the Pacific to the coast of Peru, where the sand is black. Seabirds struggling to survive after a ship unloading oil into a nearby refinery was unexpectedly swamped. There is fury here that the oil company cleaning up appears to be relying on household equipment. Restoring these shores will be tough, but on the other side of the ocean, an entire nation faces the task of rebuilding. Rachel Younger, ITV News.